Hey guys, this is Matt in Exile, and I got a story for you. But I'll have the links down in the bottom description area so you can take a look at it for yourself. And the headline of the uh, story is EU nations recently sold arms to Russia despite sanctions. Now, uh, these sanctions were implemented in 2014, August 1st, due to the conflict between Ukraine and Russia in 2014 whenever uh, Russia took uh, Crimea. And the EU and the United States implemented these uh, sanctions, or it's really an embargo, to not sell arms to them. But the EU nations, some of them, went around this embargo and did sell arms to them from 2015 to 2020. Now, admittingly, some of these deals were actually legal because they were made before the sanctions happened in 2014. So those uh, deals make sense because uh, these companies that made that, those deals are just uh, fulfilling their obligations to Russia because Russia already paid for these arms, which makes sense. But that doesn't go away to 2020. Anyone with common sense would realize that. So some of these countries went around this embargo. Now, some of the arms that the uh, uh, Russians bought was thermal imaging, firearms, tanks, and rockets, which some of this equipment is actually being used in Ukraine now. So not only is the EU funding both sides of this war of money by giving money to Ukraine, but also by giving uh, money for oil to Russia, they're also giving both sides military arms. I see a serious problem with this. I mean, I mean, right now it's over with. I mean, uh, Russia hasn't bought arms from the EU or EU nations that we know of for two years now. But despite that, a lot of these arms that are being used against Ukrainians are from the EU. There's no doubt about that. And there should be serious consequences to this, but I don't think there will be. Because the fact is, no one's going to do anything about it. I don't see anything happening with it. Now, when it comes to the funding of buying Russian oil, the only way you're going to fix that is by the United States becoming energy independent again. Now, uh, Joe Biden has decided to start drilling on uh, federal lands, which is great news. But if you look at it, all the regulations that they, uh, they have put on these uh, oil rigs, they're not going to they're not going to be able to do it. And it's going to really hinder their ability to actually drill on federal lands. Not only that, the banking systems that uh, they have put in, the regulations they have put in against the oil companies to drill, to get loans, to be able to drill, is also going to uh, hinder their ability to do as well. But guys, that's what's happening today. I hope you enjoy. Please hit like and subscribe. Peace.